actually, I don't even want to ask you none of these questions, except there was one thing I planned on asking you. Uh -huh. What do you think about the Sinead O'Connor thing? Oh, yeah. Um, I think, well, I think, first of all, everybody deserves to say what they feel. I just think when you want somebody else's show, you got to give them their respect, you know? Don't get other people in trouble. Try to get them fired, you know? Yeah. Um, if you had your own show, you could run around butt naked, ripping up people's pictures. I don't care, but <laughs> that's how I not live. You know, you got to show respect. But on the real side, um, I don't know. I'm not going to let the government or the church tell me what to do with my body. I don't think they should tell a woman what to do with theirs. That's me personally. That's deep, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I know you know. I'm not letting the church tell me what to do with my joint. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I take care of mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks for saying join. That's no problem. Uh, <laughs> Yo, were you having a real ooh? Yeah, kind of well, today? yeah, I don't need no more. But can I tell you one thing? Uh, yes. Um, I didn't know they were gonna be here, and I don't know if they oh, remember, yeah, yeah. but yeah. my first TV show ever was in 1989 on Showtime at the Apollo with the Temptations. And uh, Eddie, Eddie came up to us after the show. Because we were having fun bugging out, and I guess he never seen a white boy. <laughs> so he said, you know, he said, y'all brothers got it going on. You're going to do all right. And uh, God bless him. Word up. Talk about that for a minute. Um, do you get people that bug out because you do what you do? No. Good. <laughs> That's good. I, I, not anymore. I mean, when we first came out, it was like, you know, what? White boy doing that? What? <laughs> you know, and uh, now I think hip-hop culture has become so widespread that you got to expect kids to be down with some flavor, you know, white kids, Hispanic, Chinese, because hip-hop culture is, is a way of expanding your mind beyond education, beyond even family. It's a way to expand our minds as youth. Yeah, it brings us all closer together, too. I appreciate what you do and the way you do it. Um, you know, I'm going to let you toot your own horn. Tell them how the single's doing. Oh, yo, this week, um, Here It Comes is number one rap single in the nation. Thank you. Heard up. I got a lot going on. You don't even know. Tell me more. I got it going on, girl. <laughs> Tell me more. I'm about what to read you out here. Uh, go on. You got your own late uh, night talk show? No, no. <laughs> Thank but goodness. I, yeah, yo, definitely not. You can check me on PBS, though, next year, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Public broadcasting of search. Um, <laughs> we, got a, um, we got a soundtrack out for Zebrahead, a movie that was done by Oliver Stone. Um, doing real well. You should check that movie out. It opens uh, October 23rd. And uh, my man, Nasty Nas, all the beat heads in here, he's catching a record with a record called Halftime. He's about to do Come Out Strong. I got my peoples in here, you know. Yeah. You married? Yep. How's your wife? Lovely. She hate me right now. Why? She's my manager. Oh. Uh... So I'm driving her crazy. Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> you get before a show and bling, hello. Yo, what up? Yo, Steve. Went to public school together. Yeah, I'm out in L.A. I'm, I, yeah, yeah. I can get tickets. <laughs> I, I, you know, I never seen the kid before, so I'm running around trying to take care of people. Is, is that I, is that hard though to be in business with your wife? No, nah, not really. I told um, I told Sandy before, you know, it's business nine to five, and then five to whatever it gets personal. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we we separated real lovely. Um, I wrote something else down here. Speaking of Sandy, you used a term with her, and she asked me what it meant, and I didn't even know. I said I ain't with it. Uh, but you said extra napkins. Yeah, she's a all that. Times. She's all that and extra napkins. That's that's um, that's really like a search mob, like mob saying. My crew is called Searchlight, and uh, when somebody's all that, like there's some honey dips up there that all that. Yeah. So we would say, yo, they all that and extra napkins, cause you happy. You know when you eating at Roscoe's and you get all that grease on you, and you be begging for an extra napkin, please, please, yo, hey, extra napkins. So, you know, that's, you know, that's extra napkins. Uh -huh. Like, my man, my man is all that. <laughs> but my man is all that and extra napkins, so. I hope you agree, baby, because when we get together, I'm going to be screaming for extra napkins. <laughs> we'll be right back with MC Search. You're the best, man. We'll be back. Yeah.